welcome back respected ones in this video we are going to talk about a latest trend in the field of psychology or in the field of teaching learning process in the field of education or in the process of teaching learning that is beyond constructivism navigationism in the knowledge era when we talk about beyond constructivism we should just go back to see the historical events and let to constructivism first at first we were making use of the concept of behaviorism in the field of education according to behaviorist theories people learn everything by making them a habit in their life so according to behaviorist theories you have to condition the body and the mind of the people to enable them learning so everything was taught by the teacher and teachers were assigned the duty of making the students being conditioned with the actions and behavioral patterns taught by the teachers and later some people believe that this is something uh, it, was, it was something mechanical learning never occurs mechanically learning should be meaningful so they promoted meaningful learning then some people felt that students should discover their knowledge they should construct individually different knowledge pieces and it was advocated by people like jerome s bruno let us some people thought that construction of knowledge should be there but it should be social knowledge can be constructed or knowledge can be gained or everything can be learned by people only by constructing knowledge and this construction of knowledge will be possible only when there is socio cultural interaction among different people and it was called social constructivism and we have been using uh, this uh, we have been following this concept of constructivism for a number of decades but nowadays some people believe that there is no need for constructivism now because every sort of knowledge has already been constructed by different people after the emergence of internet there are thousands of sources for each topic you just type a small topic like personality development in google search, on google search engine you will see that across of pages are available within seconds so people believe that the age of constructivism is gone is no more there it is not there it's not it's no longer needed it is not longer needed now thousands of knowledge sources are there as websites as journals as web portals as youtube videos etc so according to navigationism students should be encouraged and motivated to explore different sources of knowledge online for getting the most suitable piece of knowledge they require and this is navigation so 
then what should be done by teachers the role of the teachers nowadays is the major role of the teachers nowadays is to give guidelines and instructions to students to explore the world of knowledge online for that teachers should provide some information to the students the first and foremost thing is that teachers should provide proper information about the search engines online search engines like google search bing microsoft edge so and so sorry bing microsoft edge is uh, sorry is a uh, uh, browser search uh, search engines such as google bing and another important thing so another important information which should be provided by teachers to students is the list of authentic websites like google scholar ebesco etc where students can get authentic knowledge because lots of fake websites are there any person can any person can publish an article online without getting verified by authors uh, so teachers should give the list of authentic websites or different websites apt for getting authentic knowledge related to different subjects and another important factor uh, which is to be kept by the teachers is that they should teach the students a right keywords to be used for searching for particular pieces of knowledge this is something important the ability to make use of proper keyword for searching is something important in the case of navigation itself and sometimes you may not be able to get the proper or accurate information by making use of a particular keyword then you should be able to make use of alternative keywords so teachers should teach the students how to use alternative keywords when searching for different types of knowledge and this is something crucial and this is something important ability to use right keywords accurate keywords and alternative keywords another information we should be provided by teachers to students is how to the knowledge of how to reverse search reverse searching is a significant in this regard because we have to confirm the accuracy or the authentic nature of the knowledge which we have gained so we have to reverse search i had an experience before a couple of years i had been teaching education during british rule in india i used to tell that british east india company had had been established in britain in 1600 and i used to tell that they had built their first factory in india in 1939 in madras but before a couple of years one of my students of the batch 2020 sorry 2018 20 
I send me a message after the class asking me whether British East India Company had established this their first factory in India before 1939. She mentioned another date telling me that she had got an information that British East India Company had established their first factory in India on that particular date. Then I reverse searched it. Instead of searching, when was British East India Company's first factory established in India? I just searched by using this one. Was the first factory of British East India Company built in India in 1939? Then I came to know that it, it had not been built in 1939. So for ensuring that our the information which we have got is authentic, we should make use of reverse search. For example, if you search who won the Nobel Prize for peace in the year 1999 then you get the name of a particular person then you can reverse search by typing that person's name is mr john or was mr john the person who won the nobel prize for peace in 1999 reverse searching so teachers should teach their students how to reverse search so giving the list of search engines, giving the list of authentic websites, teaching proper keywords, then teaching how to reverse search. Then teachers should teach them a how to ensure the authenticity of the information they have caught after navigating online. One method we have taught reverse searching. Another method is that we should look whether uh, some co contradictory information are given in that website. For example, uh, just read different articles published on that particular website and just check whether some information are false in your knowledge then you can consider that website as uh, something unauthentic or you can just type the name of that website in google search engine again by typing just like this is the articles published in uh, that particular website is authentic so i had an, another experience one of my friends asked me to purchase a mobile phone for him online and i saw some website was selling xiaomi's not 3 4 just for rupees 4,500. During those days, its actual cost was 13,000. Then they were demanding that the amount should be paid through federal bank. I approached one of my friends who had got an account in federal bank and ask him uh, to pay for me and I would pay back his cash. 
but at a certain moment my mind asked me whether it was a fake website and i came back to google and i searched is then i type the name of that website is that website a fake website then i got a number of complaints from different people and one of them just wrote this one he had just ordered for a mobile phone and he got a power bank actually in the page where the mobile phone was placed there was a sentence if mobile phone is not available we will send power bank i just went back to the page where i saw sawomi phone for rupees 4500 i scrolled down and i saw a one line sentence at the end of that page it wrote just like this if xiaomi phone is not available we will send you max phone then again i again i went back to google and i searched max phone price of max phone and i found that it costed or the cost of that phone was below 1000 rupees so this is what is happening online any person can publish anything online without getting verified by others so you should teach your students how to ensure the authenticity of the articles you should teach them how to check whether the articles are authentic or not and you also should give them the list of some peer reviewed journals if they are getting some information from some peer reviewed journals most of the times such information will be accurate because peer reviewed journals are not publishing the article given by submitter by a person as it is they will check whether the information is authentic the article will be verified or reviewed by different people and if you submit an article to a peer reviewed journal your article will be published only after one or two months uh, so you just tell your students to collect information from peer reviewed journals authentic websites then the websites created by world fam- famous universities legal universities so navigationism is the the navigation is navigationism is the present trend but there are lots of disadvantages so there are lots of negative aspects so you should make your students capable of searching online in a systematic manner by providing all these items to them just give them list of the search engines just give them list of the authentic websites just give them list of the peer reviewed journals just teach them the right keywords to search uh, just teach them how to reverse search just teach them how to ensure the authenticity of the information they have got from different online sources this is something about navigationism beyond constructivism navigationism in the era of knowledge thank you thank you very much